Have you heard the good news about your brain? Your brain rocks, and here's why. Your brain is designed to get better and better as you get older. But you can't let your brain do all the heavy lifting. You have to help your brain do its job. Now, if you're like most people, you know more about your car than you know about your brain. You have to know a few things to drive a car, and you have to know a few things to help your brain too. So I'm going to tell you the most important thing you need to know about your brain to help it do its job better. But first, let me introduce myself and tell you about the work that I do. I'm Phyllis Strupp, and as a brain coach, I help people like you learn what use it or lose it really means, how to do brain exercise, why crossword puzzles are not enough, and how to do better with learning and memory. So, how did a recovering MBA like me get into the brain business? I'm an animal lover, but I think it's really cool that people can do some neat tricks that other animals can't do, such as the four R's. Reading, writing, arithmetic, and rhythm. When it comes to being human, our brains rock. So after learning more about the brain, I started teaching people like you how to get the most bang for the buck out of their brains. So enough about me. Let's get back to your brain. Because I'm excited about your brain and I want to make sure you're excited too. So now I'm going to tell you the most important thing you need to know about your brain to help it do its job better. Okay, your brain weighs three pounds, about the size of this cantaloupe. And like this cantaloupe, your brain has a hole in the middle so that your head isn't so heavy that you have to walk around like this. That's a great design feature, isn't it? Your brain rocks. But your brain doesn't really look like this cantaloupe. It looks more like this rock. Now we're going to pretend that this cool limestone rock from Australia is your brain. Now, the most important thing you need to know is that the power of your brain lies in these thingies called synaptic connections. Everything that the brain does is through these synaptic connections. So the secret to having a healthy brain and keeping your mind sharp ow, is to keep growing new synaptic connections throughout life. So when your brain is not growing new synaptic connections, it's not working very hard like when you're watching television, time out. What's a synaptic connection and how do you grow a new one? Let's go over that. A synaptic connection is a chit chat, a conversation, a relationship between two brain cells. Your brain has a hundred billion cells called neurons. You know the word neurotic. That comes from the word neuron. Everything that your brain does happens when neurons communicate to get something done, like we do. But they don't use words, they use electricity and chemistry. And their messages to each other can travel up to 250 miles per hour. That's somewhere between a race car and a jet plane. That's really fast. You see what I mean? Your brain rocks. So now that we know what a synaptic connection is, let's see how we go about growing a new one. These two neurons are going to help us understand how to grow a new synaptic connection. Notice there's a space between these two neurons. They're not communicating. This is called a synapse from the Greek words to join together. But at this synapse, there's no connection. Now, let's say I decide to make a sculpture for the first time since childhood. How do you think these neurons are going to respond? Can you believe she wants to do sculpture at the age of 53? Who does she think she is, a five-year-old? And what does she think we're made of anyway, plastic? Ah, uh, don't worry. It's probably just another one of her pipe dreams. She'll give up soon enough. Their first reaction was to ignore my request, so my sculpture is bad. But let's say I keep trying anyway. Then what will they do? I was wrong. I think she really wants to do this. But we don't know diddly about sculpture. Okay, I'll do... Okay, then I'll do... 
Now I'll be able to make a sculpture, something like this. Bravo! Great job, neurons. Thanks for your help. So now you know what a synaptic connection is and how to grow a new one. Imagine that. You just grew synaptic connections learning about synaptic connections. How cool is that? Your brain rocks. So, how many of these synaptic connections does your brain have? Your brain has about 100 trillion synaptic connections, and it can have up to two to three times that without you needing a bigger head. So the whole point of having a brain is to grow new synaptic connections. Use it or lose it means go grow some new ones. And that's your job to challenge your brain. So brain exercise requires you to learn something new. It needs to be personally meaningful and you need to keep at it. Otherwise, your brain thinks it's a waste of time. Here's the easy way to get started with brain exercise. Take one of your I can't statements. That means your brain is flabby in that area. The most common I can't statement I hear is, I can't be creative. I don't have a creative bone in my body. And you know what I say to that? You don't need a creative bone. Your right brain has 50 billion neurons that are ready, willing, and able to create. See what I mean? Your brain rocks. So take one of your I can't statements and challenge it. I can't sing, I can't dance, I can't write, I can't do numbers, whatever it is, go have some fun with it. Take a class and your brain will grow some new ones. Over the past two years, I took on three of my own personal I can't statements. I can't do things with my hands. I took a sculpture class. I can't play a musical instrument. So I took piano lessons. I can't sing. So I joined the choir. They haven't thrown me out yet. And the best part is that my memory is better than it's ever been. My brain is getting better with age and so can yours because our brains rock. People who have attended my programs have been motivated to take on all kinds of new challenges. So here's the bottom line. Your neurons will do the work you give them to do. It's your job to challenge your brain, and it's your brain's job to grow new synaptic connections and get better with age. No extra charge. That's a great deal. So you see what I mean when I say your brain rocks. Check out the free brainy resources available on my website. A special thank you to all those who asked their neurons to work on this video. Jay Allen, Suzanne Johnson, and Peter Strupp. So go have fun with your brain, grow some new ones, and remember, your brain rocks.